Today, let's look at some misconceptions related to the subtraction of integers. Misconception 1. What is the result of minus 5 minus plus 3? While solving minus 5 minus plus 3, sometimes 3 is subtracted from 5. Since 5 is the larger number here, therefore, negative sign is placed before the result. Similarly, sometimes 3 is subtracted from 5 and the sign of the first number, that is minus 5, is placed before the result. Because of these two misconceptions, option 1 is chosen as the answer which is incorrect. Sometimes 5 and 3 are added but the negative sign is ignored. Because of this, option 2 may be chosen which is also incorrect. The correct answer is option 3 that is minus 8. Because subtracting plus 3 from minus 5 means adding the additive inverse of plus 3 to minus 5. Thus, the additive inverse of plus 3 is minus 3. Therefore, the result obtained by adding minus 3 to minus 5 is minus 8. To solve this on the number line, first we will move 5 steps to the left of 0 and then we move 3 steps to the left of minus 5. Thus, we reach minus 8. So, the correct answer is option 3. Misconception 2 which of the following statements is not true? In the given expression, the operation of subtraction of these integers is performed. Now, from the given statements, we need to identify a statement which is not suitable for this expression. The first statement says that a person goes seven floors upwards from the fifth floor below the ground level. To find out the current position of the person, Minus 5 is subtracted from 7. The expression is written as 7 minus minus 5. This is a misunderstanding. Since the person is moving 7 floors upwards from the minus 5th floor, the current floor position can be found by the expression minus 5 plus 7. Therefore, the first statement is not true. This means this is the answer to the given question. The second statement says that one group gets 7 and the other group gets minus 5 points. Sometimes, in order to find the difference between the points, the operation of addition is performed and the expression is written as 7 plus minus 5. Therefore, the second statement is considered as false and option 2 is chosen as the answer for the given question. But this is a misunderstanding. To find out the difference between the points, Lesser points are subtracted from more points. Therefore, the expression will be 7 minus minus 5. That means the second statement is true. This cannot be the answer to the given question. The third statement says that the temperature rises from minus 5 degrees centigrade to 7 degrees centigrade. Sometimes, to find out the increase in temperature, the second number is subtracted from the first number, which is expressed like this. This is also a misunderstanding. Similarly, sometimes students understand that to find out the increase, initial temperature is subtracted from the final temperature. But they simply ignore the signs. Because of this, the expression is written as 7 minus 5. This is also a misunderstanding. The correct understanding is that to find out the increase, minus 5 degrees centigrade should be subtracted from 7 degrees centigrade. That means, the expression will be 7 minus minus 5. Since the given statement represents the correct statement, this also cannot be the answer to the given question. Today, we have seen misconceptions related to the subtraction of integers.